Game on. This is club grade open football for women in Sydney. Annika Lindhardt has played for 16 years and now runs this tournament. She, like the rest of the players in this competition, will be in the audience when Australia and New Zealand co-host the Women's World Cup next year. So cool to be able to host like a full women's international tournament on home soil. I already have tickets. We're all kind of geared up to go and ready and it's going to be really cool to get to support the Matildas and for them to kind of have the home advantage there. So yeah, I'm super excited. Since the last Women's World Cup in 2019, audience numbers have seen significant growth, with more than 365 million people tuning into the Euro Women's Football Final this year. The commercial value of the women's game is also gaining strength off the pitch, with a surge in sponsorship and broadcast rights up for negotiation for the first time. We're starting to see unbundled media rights and broadcast rights programs with previously you would have, for example, a Women's World Cup and a Men's World Cup, the broadcast rights tied together. But the 2023 Women's World Cup is going to be the first that has the two of them separated so that we can really get a sense of the commercial value of the women's game as a standalone product. For host nations, Australia and New Zealand, grassroots support continues to grow and both countries have introduced equal pay between the men's and women's teams at a senior national level. But on a global scale, prize money and pay lags behind the men's game, including at the World Cup level. While the prize pot has risen, tournament on tournament, it still pales in comparison to the men's. And the short answer to that is, yes, there is a long way to go. I mean, there's still an enormous disparity, for instance, between the very top elite women footballers and the very top elite men. But, of course, the counter-argument to that is there's also a difference in, in revenue. That hasn't deterred the players. 32 nations will compete for the Women's World Cup title, with Australian supporters hoping their national team, the Matildas, will have a home advantage. I think Australia can win for sure. I hope so. Um, they're a really strong team. They've shown some really good results, uh, particularly recently. The Women's World Cup kicks off in July next year. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Brisbane, Australia.